welcome back to XDR2. Um, oops, I need to click on my screen. There we go. Um, as you can tell, I jumped a bit, uh, so I'll go back and redo the dialogues here, but um, the last recording was really bad. I just got really staged for it for some reason when I try to do a different recording, so that's why I'm going to sound a little bit different. Hopefully it's not too overpowering. I'm going to try to... Well, let me try this. I don't want to be too overpowering. Um, now I might have fucked it up. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to go back down here. Go through all these dialogue again. Like the, uh, the Gakushou. The offering shrine here. This is the Gakushou. When Kukai achieved enlightenment, six of his people placed a sacred statue of him in his place. Let's come back here later. And we'll go down here. This should be the monk by the bridge. From here is the deep temple. This is the sacred temples where Kukai achieved enlightenment. And over here should be another monk that I've skipped over. Actually, I skipped all this too, didn't I? Well, we'll get to that point. Uh, let's see. Make sure I get everything in the right order here, because I'm going backwards. Oh, here we go. Huh, you. But I thought Nenkin was ex ex uh, excommunicated. Then we'll go over here for the monks over here. Monk one in the middle. Let's see. Ah, Maori koko ni wa. Okay, that. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. Okay. Careful traveling the rest of the way here. There's a frightening demon located in the temple. Kongo Buji is located in the center of Mount Koya. Oh, thank you. So this is the Kongo Jubi, or Kongo Biji, rather. This is the Kongo Biji. This place will hold the answer to the curse upon the Diamond Madala. Let's keep on moving. And this will enter into the actual temple here. Um, last time I did this, I got lost and almost died. Actually, I did die multiple times. I'm still not prepared for it. We will have to do it go here soon, though. It's the final boss room. And I may have to travel back here to, uh, to trigger a uh, blah, 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 an event trigger, basically. <laughs> and uh, I think I need to do it just so I can continue on the story, but right now I don't have to. I need to get the mandalas first. So we'll do that soon, once I get my ass up here. If I don't get lost. I think the last video that I did not reload, or didn't reload, uh, upload, I was grinding. I think I'm gonna still grind. I'm not sure. Because if you can show, what, if you can see, um, I'm not doing too well right now. I don't think I am. Because they hurt still. Look at that. Actually, I wonder if that's... I don't want to miss it, but it's in there. No, yes it is. Uh, Sadler, this room is dangerous. We gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's not what he said. That's... I'm, I didn't have it ready for this. <laughs> Basically, that is what he said, though. I mean... The actual dialogue is, Sadler, there's a barrier within this room. Quickly leave. It's too dangerous. So you would die if you stayed in there. So let's get the hell out of here. So we got that triggered. We don't have to worry about it now if we have to... Once we get the medallas. I hope I'm not being too loud. Nobody's home, so I'm like completely free. Everyone's out in New Mexico, so I'm like completely free to be as loud as I want to at the moment. Uh, let's see. Save on four, five, six. So let's save on number one. We've talked to that monk already. We've been in the uh, Lantern Temple. Oh no, no, we haven't. Uh, that's the where the Madonna's at. And I can't move my skis here. Come on. Let's see items. Do we have any healing? Let's see. Um.
laughing gas. Hen, henbian, what? Henpian. I have no idea. Okay, um, we got laughing gas. That increases strength, if I'm correct. I think we'll be okay. We don't have to fight any bosses, so we should, should be alright. Right? We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't... This is the Lantern Temple. The West Temple represents the Wind Mandala, while this embodies the Diamond Mandala. Let's move further in. The Diamond Mandala must be in here somewhere. We must retrieve it. in here. They're dying a little quicker, so I think we'll be okay overall. I just have to play smart. Let's see, not in there. I don't think it is. It might be. Let's go in here. Actually, I should have reviewed my uh, translation videos and try to figure out the layout instead of wasting my time getting lost. Well, that's what I'll do if I uh, if I get lost or die in here. That means I have to break the video, wouldn't it? I, can, I don't think I can pause it. I don't think uh, OBS allows pausing once I think about it. Okay, it's lagging block. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, OBS doesn't allow pausing, so yeah, I would have to break it if I did that, so screw that. I put enough work in this video to uh, do that. I don't feel like botching another video. So yeah, dungeons. Um... Hopefully, in the future, I'll start working on XZR1. I'm planning on learning more vocabulary in Japanese language and just kind of uh, go from there. It'll, uh, it'll significantly help my uh, speed at translating uh, materials, the more vocab vocabulary I learn. Because otherwise, I'm really dependent on the dictionary. Unless they talk about school stuff, then, then I'm pretty good, because half of your uh, learning materials that you can find and purchase it's all about school and like they assume you're in college, <laughs> so so half the dialogue they teach you is for school related stuff. We're getting part time jobs, nothing but full time jobs or businesses or anything of that sort. It's kind of uh, fucked up in that way, but it kind of shows the mentality of who's going to be learning the language I suppose, I don't know. It is what it is, so. Let's go this direction. I think. No, actually, I got a bad feeling. Let's go the other way. I'm kind of worried I'm going to go in circles here. It's hard to tell because they all look the same, don't they? All the rooms are all the same, really. There's just different uh, sequences. All right, Mandala. I Chose correct. Cool. Let's do a save here. That should be our last dungeon as far as the, um... Well, not the last dungeon, really. We got one more dungeon that we just went through. Alright. This is good. Good. And we got some magic mushrooms.
Yep. Nothing else to say at the moment. I just try and get this dungeon out of the way. Yeah, I'm not good at conversationalist commentary. Yeah, it's not something I do. So I'll just keep jumping around here, trying to figure my way out of this dungeon. So now we got this mandala. We got both mandalas now, so we can go and start getting the. Uh... What the hell? Did I just come in circles? I'm so confused. Okay, now I'm back here. Okay, that was weird. Ah, I got really confused on that. Anyways, save on number two. We're, we're out. I don't think I did that one. Alright, uh, so our last quest we need to go is the offer okay we need to go to the offering shrine so I'm just trying to I just went on a sequence I think um whatever this is the great teacher hall the Dai Shoro the Dai Shonro temple is the location where Kukai achieved enlightenment Kukai came to this temple to reach enlightenment after the failure at the temple's altar, he attempted to alter the diamond mandala through his attainment. Is that so? He aimed to alter the diamond mandala to fit in accordance to the east of the temple and the diamond mandala in the west of the temples and the women mandalas? <laughs> Doing this world would manifest the mandalas in the world. That's what I concluded because of him uh, achieving my nirvana. The mandala has been have taken form. This is the very place. This is where he failed. Kuka aimed to reach beyond his spiritual limitation and become godlike state, but instead became a powerful vengeful spirit. A powerful vengeful spirit? Sadler, I cannot currently restrain that s this spirit. <laughs> that was a lot of set that was a lot of things to say. Um to to reduce into more understandable context. And this kind of goes back story to what was going on in the history of what Kukai was doing. Um, they levy off the concept that Kukai was making the Mount Koya, the temples on there, to represent the mandalas and also the lotus flower as a symbolism. Um, I don't know if there, he did it as a connotation for spiritualism or for like some ritual, but that was a thing he was trying to do. Um, he died before he could finish it. So this is taking this is kind of leaping off from that, where he died before he could actually go full on manifestate, um, bring in the medallas into the physical world, and that's what they were talking about. Uh, it gets a little wordy because it got a little wordy because they were trying to like break it down for the readers, but it doesn't work out when you're reading it. So. That's basically what we were doing here. We're trying to collect the mandalas so we can purify the, the, the diamond mandala in order to manifest, in order to break that barrier and to release the vengeful spirit and to gain enlightenment and all that stuff. It's really convoluted, <laughs> but you might be able to understand it. It's really, you might be able to understand it. If not, well, oh well, play it yourself, I guess. <laughs> all right. So that's done. I think now we can just go to the, la the ladder uh, table. So, at this point, we can't go in the barrier room because that's filled with the vengeful spirit. It has the barrier uh, result from the um, diamond mandala curse or something like that. So now we go into. Now we should be able to go in the offering shrine to do some magic stuff here. Sadler, the entire cause of, is that barrier within Kongola B. BG. The barrier is ripping the west and east shrines apart. So, in order to reunite the room and diamond medallas to remove this barrier? 
Kukai's best six people took over defending the temples from evil after Kukai went to Nirvana. This time, we will have to deal with the barrier and defend the temple. Now, hand me the mandalas, please. I shall unite the mandalas back together. From here, I'll break the barrier into Congo Fiji. Now, at this moment, you must hurry to the Congo Go Fiji's barrier. Quickly! I can only hold the barrier off for so long. Now, we must go to the Congo... BG, which is really hard to say when I'm trying to do this. This is where we gotta go fight the little beast here. Actually, I don't know if I'm prepared yet. Let's uh, go heal first. I have uh, laughing gas, and that increase increases my strength, if I recall. So we should be good on that. I, I don't have any fears for the boss itself. Usually, the bosses in these games are far easier than all the minions you have to face. Sometimes, not always. So we'll do save on number three here. Nope. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. I'm not in the option here. I have to actually manually go to Mount Koya again. We're almost uh, to the end of this act, which is going to be pretty damn good. Just flipping ahead to make sure I got all my notes I need. So let's go to Con Congo BG. I believe that's or maybe it's Yeah, Congo BG. Alright. <laughs> so we'll save here. Um let's see. Trying to remember the route as well. All right, did I go in here first? I went in here, I believe. Let's not get as much. Let's not get as injured as we can. Come on, Sadler, get on that fucking thing here. There we go. I think I'm going the right way. I mean, I've just been in there. It's not like it's from yesterday or something. Uh, oh well. There's no reason to fight them. They're not gonna gain me any levels, and when I do, if I do, it's not worth the um, loss of health that I'll experience doing so. Alright. Let's assume this is the room. Let's do magic here. Let's do healing. It's not gonna be too bad. Let's turn on our attack mode. Let's eat some. Let's do some laughing gas. Oh, oh shit, that did my magic. Um, let's do this one then. That should do our. Okay. That's good. Alright, let's go for it. Actually, I, th I was thinking I was hypothesizing that the blue is actually defense. But I can't be sure. Alright, let's get some. There we go. That was quick. And just like that, no dialogue or anything. And I got worried there too, because I thought there would be dialogue. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> our hard work is done. Let's actually remove our magic now. We don't need it. That was very quick. God. Like I said, the bosses aren't too hard. It's all the uh, minions. I think the only hard boss is the final boss. Being that, I don't really prepare for the final boss that well. I might actually do better since I'm actually making use of the uh, items. Alright. Alright, I 
have a warning here. Hard warning. Hard word. So let's see what the word hard word is. Virokana. Nashora. Let's make sure I got these words under my mind so I can think about it. Yabacharya. Or Yavancharya. Virokana. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Because these are not easy words for me. Oh, I'm already 20 minutes. Hmm. I might make this... I might split the video here, because we're gonna be leading off to the last, last act. And... I don't know how long that's gonna take. I may just keep going, then. Because if it's only 20 minutes and it takes me 10 minutes, I don't want, like, a whole separate 10-minute video. Fuck it. I'll keep going. If it gets to 40 minutes, it gets to 40 minutes. I don't give a shit. Uh oh. Then it can. What happened? Sandler, that powerful evil channeled through my body. Uh, hurry. This evil's not completely gone. It'll be a little while until the barrier is recreated. At the, at, at the entrance, there is a blessed torch that was lit by Virokana. There are nine candles to light in the Daishoro, the place where Kukai reached Buddhahood. Then can keep it together. Sadler, go and do this. And then that's the left of Denkan. He too sacrificed his life for this greater cause. So, we shall save again. And then go where the a lot of dollars at. These are the candles. I'll light them using the blessed torch. Or no, that's not the right area. I thought it was something weird. These are the candles. I'll light them using the blessed torch. Look at him go. Huh? What is that? I hear a voice calling out to me. Vairokana shines through the heavens. The radiance moves throughout the universe. The light is the source of everything. Where's the where the medallas will manifest is where Virokana will materialize, bringing Nirvana to the world. All the fighting, anguish, disease, and suffering, all to be cleansed away. Brahma Yavarachara will be the will be there. Yavacharya will be the one who will know the method of to manifesting medallas. Now leave. There's someone you need to travel to who is waiting for you. You need to meet this person once more. Now to Jerusalem. Nekan is dead. His work has saved your life. Where the world of the Wu Mandala and the world of the Diamond Mandala comes together, the Mandalans will allow Buddha to appear in the physical reality. Buddha is the light. I think I got a little ahead of the transition dialogue here. I hope I wasn't too loud. I was. Again, I don't know the audio level too well, so. Yay, they were all to act. Four, I believe. No, Act Five. That means we got two more acts left, which is good. So to give you now, there is a little bit of a um, when they say Buddha, they're referencing the Brahman Yavancharya, I believe. Like it, they kind of don't separate the two words. I thought it was weird. Maybe they did. Maybe they were speaking Buddha on this way, but um. No, 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 I'm sorry. You're talking about Virokana. He's, uh... He's supposed to be like a Buddhist as well. There's some history part about it, but I don't have notes on that regard. So, I can't recall them off the top of my head. But, that is also a part of this story, even though it's an actual... Um, religious relic. I think there's a statue representing this Buddhist and he has like there's a lot of scriptures on it I don't know it was kind of confusing it was hard to translate because it kind of like had a double meaning to it to me uh, but anyways 
uh, yes, right, that's it for Act 4. We're finished. We met Nankin, and we got the Madalas, and we resurrected uh, what I believe was Kukai. And then we managed to... Maybe it wasn't Kukai, it might have been Buddha. You know, it's really hard to know, because <laughs> I don't tell you the names. You just assume that you know, I guess. I don't know, either way, you got a spirit from the Madalas, or I rather meant from the can and the candles. So yeah, we're off to Act 5, which will kind of go more in details about the Mandala rituals. So alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.